So, hi, we're going to use two balls like this. Uh, these ones are balanced body ones. If you can't find this size, you are looking for, it's about a four inch diameter. Um, Franklin do them as well, or just find some soft balls, basically. So this is a little workout that is really good if you have some issues around your SI joint. Obviously, please be cautious and check that you've spoken to your physiotherapist first. Really also good to help the hip joint open and it's going to give us a little bit of a butt massage and work into the core. So with your balls, you want to think there's a bone here that's a V, okay, comes across and then your spine comes up and your tail's underneath. It's somewhere around here, close into that bone that you're going to put the balls to begin with, okay? So you prop them down there, hold them, you lie on down. Feet flat down on the floor in line with your sitting bones. And for now, you just go hmm, rock side to side. Just have a feeling for are they the same on each side? Or, okay, and you're often if you tilt a bit, you can find those bits in your body that are like, ooh, that's where I need them. So it's a good time now to go a little bit wider and explore what that feels like a little bit lower, see what that feels like. And as you work through this, so you always feel free to be able to move those balls around, okay? Where I place mine is obviously dependent for my body, where you put yours, that's gonna be what your body feels like. So we start just hanging out there. You can do, if I move my arms out of the way, you've got your little bit of a pelvic tilt. So you're rocking over the balls and then into the balls, which tips your hips massages that area a little bit and just starts to get your spine ah, loosening up, especially in this lower back, which can be a bit tight. As you do this, you might find your head nods as well. Perfectly okay. The body's kind of just talking to each other. So let it, let it happen. Ah, let your breath flow whichever way with your move for now. Shoulders and upper body beautifully relaxed. Mm -hmm. And what you can do is find that mid ground between the two and just go into your belly. So if this is your first time doing this course, this um, workshop with me, then you want to just revisit what it is to pull up into your pelvic floor, up into your core, not just enough to hold yourself still. And then you just pick up one leg, pop it down, pick up the other leg. So the leg moves from up at this hip socket. So um, foundation wise in Pilates, this is just your simple marching and the balls will give you some feedback as to whether or not you're rocking and rolling when you're actually doing the move, which can happen. But the balls you go, oh, you stay solid in them, connect into here. And as you kind of get it, look, I can get lighter and switch without putting my foot on the floor, which now my abdominals have to work a little bit more for me. And that's what we want. We want to get them tuning into how much do we want them to work? How much is enough? How much is too much? It's like tasting porridge. You know what I mean? Now from here, we're going to keep two legs up. Again, I'm sinking into the balls, but I have a relaxed feeling in my spine. So I'm not arched off of them. If that's you, you're going to need to move the balls a wee bit. We're going to stretch one leg out, start to lower it as low as everything maintains itself and pull back in. Stretch it out, start to lower. So maybe you get to here, perfectly good. Maybe you just get to about here, fabulous. Maybe you can get to here, also fine. It's your body and you wanna work into awareness of where you're at each day. Cause some days doing this, you can get lower, other days you can get higher. But as I say, your goal is stay heavy in the balls, zip up through your belly. As this leg lowers, you're not rocking with it, okay? And this is why you get this kind of butt massage, basically. So once you've done that last one, leg up into the air, leg up into the air, already possibly getting a hamstring stretch more. So if I flex my feet, point one, take that one leg down, bring it up, point, take the other one down. Now, if you wish, you could take your hands up off the floor. It's not as wobbly as a single ball, but it will stop you pressing into your arms as you do it. Keep this leg super strong and straight as the other one goes down. And again, you'll feel the pressure change in the ball as you're switching legs. 
And all you want to do is go, oh, how interesting. That's all. Because it is interesting. And when you change things, it's like, oh, I changed it like that. Which is what I'm going to do now. I feel like my balls, I want to take them a little bit wider and lower. Ooh. Now, when my leg goes down against the ball here, it's a slightly different feeling for me. I'm kind of a bit dropped towards the floor as well. It's like, oh, okay. Bit of a different massage for my glutes, which often I need. So where is it that you need? Okay, last one, and then we're gonna have those legs up. Okay, my balls are gonna come back a bit higher there. All right, tabletop legs, arms down by your sides. Tip just a little bit into one ball, back to center and tip. So you can't go all the way off it because the ball might roll away, yeah? Now, if you bring your hands up like this, as my legs go left, I push on the right, on the left hand, sorry, when my legs go to the right, I'm gonna push a little bit more on my right arm because it enables me to get a counterbalance. If you're feeling good today, you can do this straight legs. I have a wall in my way, I can't go much further that way. I am just hovering off the other ball. All right, beautiful way to get some twisting into your back. And again, a deeper massage onto each of the balls. Last one, and then we'll go center, arms down by your sides, two legs straight, pull in, two legs are gonna lower, two legs are coming up. So again, notice how low can your legs go with this? They don't have to go to the floor. This, where my range is today, I actually feel like my range today, this, that's good. That's as far as I actually want to go. Tomorrow, I might go lower. So again, keeping this connected, use an exhale to take it out, an inhale to pull it back, or possibly an inhale there, an exhale. Both work just as long as your core muscles and pelvic floor are responding to the breath, you're all good. Now this time, one leg goes down on the floor. If you need to bend it, bend it. It could be stretched. This laying in the air, I tend to like to put my hands on my hips and I take circles with this leg that's up, small circles, because I'm not gonna let my body rock on the ball like I did before. I'm gonna think, okay, leg, circle in the socket, socket, pelvis, still, abdominals, as much on to hold this leg or hold my pelvis from rocking as my leg moves. Then I'm gonna change direction. So six to eight repetitions each way. Focus on which breath helps you to stay still. Often when the leg goes away from your center, that would be where you'd want to exhale, okay? But again, the balls are giving you a lot of feedback as if you're moving on them. Once you've done six to eight, take that leg down, whoo, bring the other leg up. And again, anchor this bottom leg however you feel is the right thing for you to keep your spine. This knee is gonna point over. So in other words, this leg stays parallel. The circle isn't so big that I've actually turned my leg inwards or outwards. And hands are super useful on your body to help you to know what's happening. Okay, especially if you don't have an instructor's eyes, it's often like, well, I don't know, is this right? Is this where I want it to be? So hands are useful. Circle leg. Now you're gonna get reverse. You're gonna get a lot of effort up into the hip joint. Okay, you're holding your leg up, so don't worry, there will be. And you know, every now and again, if you lose it, you'll feel yourself rolling on the ball. So just go hang on, keep it small enough that you know that your hips are staying really quiet on the balls and you'll get a really, really, really good feeling there. Or oh, bring the legs up, shake them out a little bit. I'm gonna turn because I want you to see this next move. This is one of my favorites. So, hi. Right, so from there again, move the balls if you need to. Two legs go up. One leg is gonna stay still, other one goes out to the side comes back in. So right now my knee faces the camera. Okay, your goal, so this leg has to stabilize me, this leg moves and I'm gonna get some stretch. I'm also gonna turn my legs out and do the same thing with a leg turn out. You possibly find you will get more range when that leg's turned out. And please, if you wanna do more repetitions than I am, pause, I'm just giving you lots of options rather than just a workout and giving you some possibilities of your own workout. Now we go back to scissors, which means one leg up, one leg down. 
your leg will probably go further. Again, I've got a wall in my way. <laughs> so you've got scissors there. So this is similar to what we did at the start. But now we're going to hold the right leg up, the left leg down. The right leg goes to the right, the left leg goes to the left. And look, they change sides. Right leg is down, left leg is up. You go kick, kick, change them around. You could do this with those knees pointing straight forward. Or again, you could do it with a turnout, which could afford you. This is a lovely big stretch in the hip joint, massively good for your hips. And I'm just going to do one more and then we're going to just take it into a really lovely stretch here. So legs as wide, you could bend them, rock on those balls, take the feet towards the floor rocking, bring the knees towards your shoulders rocking. And again, it's just kind of you're rocking side to side on the balls. So your hips, they have had, just hug them in towards your chest. Again, that's a nice release for the lower back. Your hips have had a lot of opening and work at the same time. And because of the lift, it enables you to let your spine be a little bit more sinky. Now, remove. Ooh, just let your legs turn and just notice how that feels. For me, it's like, wow, it feels super light on there. So which is just a great, great feeling around the sacrum. And now we want to loosen up the front of the legs. So those balls, you're going to flip onto your belly. You're going to put them around here, okay? So there's different, two different places really. You can put them on those bones I just pointed out, or if that's not comfy, move it down your quads a little bit, down your thighs, the front of your legs. Okay, you rest on down, maneuver the balls. I'm actually gonna go more on my quads today. Let me move up, there's my caterpillar impression. So under there. So from here, just rest your head on your hands. Now what that enables you to do is again, keep the belly a little bit lifted, but now this leg lifting can become a little bit easier because you've got a height away from the floor. Yeah, still stomach, just enough on. And again, if you don't, you're gonna feel yourself rolling on the balls. So your goal is to lift your butt leg up from back here. Super tempting to bend the knee, but lift and with any luck, because your thigh will come off, even if your balls are higher up here, as you do it, similar, different feeling. This can be, especially if, um, if you have any stomach issues, having the balls more and on the pelvis may not suit you. So please put them on your legs, but it's giving you a massage at the same time. Yeah. I like them down here, so I'm heading back there. If I pick them both up, you can do my swim legs. And then to add on, just to get a bit of back work, which is always good for our posture, we lift up a little bit through the upper body, swim those legs, pull yourself forward so your shoulders are down, which means you get armpits squeezing in. Now, you might hear, I can kick the floor, okay, which is another nice feeling because then I know I'm getting nice range on both legs. Backs of the legs working strongly here and through the bottom, through the back, I come down a little bit. I'm going to take my hands off, keep the lift through my back, so now my back muscles have to work to hold me here. So it's a whole back exercise, which means that, as I say, great for posture. Lift, hold, hands behind you. Come all the way up into a up dog or swan, depending on what sort of method you want to follow. Release. Now, when you've done that, I actually encourage you to not stretch your back and just come straight up into standing, which I'm not gonna do because obviously I'm gonna chop my head off. But notice how when you stand, once you've got the back body working, your posture is improved. So the muscles are awake, leave them awake to stand. Short and sweet, little workout to get hips open and whoop, posture sorted. Great work, I'm gonna play with them again in a minute, so see me in the next part.